are going to open our glass fusing kit. In your kit, you have six pieces of glass. You'll have your glass pieces, that's your canvas. You've got recycled glass. You can pick whichever color you like to create your work. A small little piece of glue, a Q-tip, and you've got frit and rings for creating hangers for your pieces, whether you're going to make a keychain or window art. And these are called stringers. They're the size of spaghetti and you just break them with your finger. So let's get started. I'm going to use some glass that I already have ready to go. Okay, um, I just wanted to show you, this is an example of what your final pieces would look like. You would have a ring that could be um, created to make a keychain or to hang in the window. All right, these are fused um, contour. So it takes a process of approximately um, 18 hours in the kiln. We have a digital, two digital kilns. The pieces heat up slowly, um, get to the temperature where they actually fuse together, and then they cool down slowly and anneal at 960 degrees Fahrenheit for an hour to be sure that they have integrity to continue to be one piece now. So these are all compatible pieces of glass. If you use glass that you have at home and add it to your creation, it'll probably explode or break. So please don't use any glass that isn't included in your kit. So here's some examples of how I layered some of the glass pieces. So I suggest that you just get your, um, dump your glass out and pick the pieces that you like, the shapes that you like, and start playing with arranging them in the order that you like. Um, I kind of like this red with an accent of white, so you can layer them on top of each other, or you can lay them next to each other with a um, stringer. If you want to change the size of a stringer, you just do it like spaghetti, pop it. There you go, no special tools for that. Um, yeah, when you layer, you'll see you'll have different heights and you'll Take, take a picture before you send it to me and we will you'll see how it changes the depth of your piece the little dots that you see that's the frit that you've got in your kit it's just really fun to just accent um, one with frit on top and a little stringer on top that melted in. You can't even see. See, it's just all one piece now. Oops. Oops sorry. Kind of get used to this new camera. Okay. So once you have it in the design that you like, take one of your little round circles and think about, do you want it to hang? How do you want it to hang? Do you want it to hang at the top or the side? Um, for a keychain or wall or window art, you can hang it however you like on the corner. So take your glue, your little packet of glue, and just create, doesn't have to be perfect, this will burn out. Um, I'm going to lay my ring where I want it, and I'm going to lay my artwork. I'm going to put some more glue on top of this. Okay, so this piece of glass is going to go on top of the copper ring so that your copper ring is in between the two pieces of glass. Let me show you this again. This one. See how it's fused in? All right, we're going to do that. Okay, so now I'm going to just, you have a toothpick in your kit. What you could do is put some glue down 
and move it around with your toothpick so that your pieces are covered. They don't have to be completely saturated. You just need to have a corner. Um, some of your pieces may be curved. So I like this design right here. And this glass is sort of curved. So what I'll do is just kind of make sure I put it on the corners. Okay, smooth that around. I'm actually gonna just touch those little pieces into just a bit of that glue. You'll find your own way, but you know, it doesn't have to be saturated in glue to stick, but it does take a while to dry, so don't get concerned. I would give it, you know, 45 minutes to dry completely. Once it dries, it is very, um, it's glued on very well. Okay. So if you decide you want a night light or something else, I have the night light kits, I can just finish that off. The process here is you're making your art at home. You will glue your pieces, let them dry for 45 minutes to an hour until they're nice and secure. Then take your some of your foil and wrap your piece tightly, okay? Wrap it tight. Wrap it tightly into the foil. Um, first, taking a picture of your piece. Then put it back in the box. You'll put it back in the box that I sent you with your wrapped up creations. Any of the glass, if you're not gonna use the glass, you could send this back and I'll recycle it again. Anything you're not using, you could send back. Or if you're gonna use this to make a mosaic or something, feel free to, to keep it. Um, but if you're not, send it back. And we'll just keep making art kits. Once I receive the package back, I will fire that in my kiln here at the studio. Then your pieces will be finished. If you decide you want some of them made into a key ring, I'll attach a key ring to your piece, or you can do that yourself and then I will ship it back to you. Um, sometimes when you order the kit, the postage has already been paid and I will send you a self-addressed um, post postage paid for you to ship back. If not, if you let me know, um, you can either pay me for the shipping to return or you can just take it to the post office and have it send it to our address here in Laramie and we will get it going. I wanted to I would say it takes at least a week for us to fire because we don't know of our exact schedule that week, um, but we can give you updates from time to time. Let me show you this one. Whoops. See how it's, it's got several layers here. So your piece will just look like pieces of glass glued together, but when you get it back, it'll be transformed. All right, um, now let me add the fret. Let me show you how to do that real quick. I'm gonna add it to this piece because this one already has some glue on it and I think that fret would be super pretty on that. You have quite a bit of fret you could put on all your pieces. Um, you can just sprinkle it on or you can get a little, like a paper, a plastic spoon that works kinda nice. however you like. Um, I'm actually going to put a little bit more glue down here and it I would say you know if you want it saturated in frit and the glue isn't everywhere that you want it let me know and I'll make sure to make sure that happens. So that is going to be cool right there. I will fire that and put it back on our Facebook site. So make sure you follow everything on Facebook and there's other ideas. If you have questions, let us know. And um, we look forward to seeing what creations you make. Thank you so much. This is Renee with Science Loves Art at Fourth Street Studios.
Oh, 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 oh,